Hi guys, Sasha here today. I would like to show you my process of how I paint those florals. So make yourself a cup of hot tea or any beverage of your choice and join me. Uh, so you will need your sketchbook. Uh, I'm using a watercolor sketchbook because I'm going to use a lot of water, but actually you can use any paper um, of your choosing, but bear in mind that thinner paper is going to take watercolor slightly differently and um, choose any watercolor palette of your choice whatever you have will work and join me i'm going to leave the footage of me painting mainly not sped up so you can really see how much time i take to stroke the lines and make marks on paper the only parts i'm going to speed up are the parts where i'm mixing paint and uh, yeah just use any colors that you prefer and let yourself loose because the secret of painting loose florals is just that being loose with your watercolor allowing it to flow around and just doing its magic just trust the process and I assure you, you will see great results. I usually start by painting a lighter layer so that I have freedom to add darker and more intense colors on top to create more depth and volume into my flowers. You're mostly going to be working wet on wet. I'm not wetting the whole page beforehand, but I'm plopping the darker and more intense colors on top of my lighter layers while they are still wet, letting the colors bleed and blend into each other. And I think it creates the beautiful effect, uh, almost like the wind is blowing through the flowers and you can just see this beautiful uh, mix of purple and pinks and yellows and greens all together. This creates a lot of movement and air and you can almost smell the flowers. Don't be afraid to experiment with color mixing in such paintings. Uh, just uh, make sure you don't mix the opposite colors on the color wheel because you will create brown, unless that's what you want. Um, I usually mix the colors which are close to each other on the color wheel. For example, I love mixing my pinks and, and my purples and my mm, yellows together, for example, lemon yellow and uh, more like ochre yellow, and it creates just a deeper shade. Make sure you don't mix more than three colors together to avoid creating mud. Um, also, don't be afraid to mix your own greens, because usually the green that is already in your kit is most likely to bright and unnatural. Um, but if you really enjoy that color, use it. Uh, don't listen to me whatsoever. Play with the shapes of your flowers and make sure you add not only the leaves and the bigger flowers but also some smaller elements such as berries for example or some twigs um, or some herbs. Uh, just make sure you give your painting some loose details. Don't concentrate too much on big shapes.
Now let's paint another one. This time I'm really going to focus on smaller flowers and just create this kind of field border on my page. I think this is a beautiful way to incorporate floral uh, pieces, watercolor drawings into your uh, art journal or your sketchbook. You can create an, an entire border around the page or just at the bottom or just leave it as a focal point of your page. Again, I encourage you to not be afraid to drop colors into the color that is already on your page and is wet you just need to try this if you haven't already because it will just give so much movement and life to your flowers so for example i'm painting yellow circles and dropping the black color into them and the way black mixes with yellow is just simply beautiful um, also, don't be afraid to paint green um, stems of the flowers while the flowers are still wet and the, a little bit of green will bleed into the pink or red or whatever color you've chosen for your flower and it will just look more natural than if you painted uh, the stem after your flower was already dry. One of my other favorite ways to mix colors on the page is to draw some kind of berries with small leaves and then take a darker color for the stem, like for example black or dark green, and draw the twigs uh, and stems of those berries uh, while they are still wet. And I think the way the black or darker color bleeds into the berries and connects them all together just makes the whole piece look whole uh, and um, yeah it looks very beautiful And of course, you cannot forget about dripping the paint all over your page because this is a loose watercolor flower painting and just dripping the paint on top of the painting gives it even more looseness 
and even more character and movement and life so just choose any color of your choice just drip around I do it while the flowers are so wet so the paint that falls onto the page bleeds into the flowers that are already there but that's how I like it if you don't feel like that's something you're going to like wait for your flowers to dry and then do this so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you are going to let yourself play, let yourself lose, experimental. I know many of you are afraid because you've messaged me saying you cannot seem to let go and try to control the line and you don't really feel like letting go. So I challenge you to try it. Just start with that one flower, paint the underlying la layer and then put some darker color on top and let it bleed just hold yourself back don't let yourself interfere with the watercolor magic let it do its thing and you will just see the magic happening right in front of your eyes so please do it uh, please tag me if you create any paintings i would love to see the results Thank you for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye!